We are here at Drencher with Clint. How are you going, my friend? I'm good, mate. I'm good, mate. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us, man. What a, what a wild ride it's been. It is, yeah. It's been fucking a heavy, uh, very busy last six months for sure, trying to organize this shit. But yeah, it's our third, third year running. So, you know, once we figure out everything that's going on, it's, yeah, it's getting better each year. Unreal, man. Yeah. Unreal. So, I mean, when did, the, uh, when did it start? Like 20... Uh, so, yeah, so technically it started like four years ago. Yeah. Uh, we had the whole first fest organized, but then COVID happened. Yeah. So I had to can that shit. And then, yeah, so, yeah, officially the last three, yeah, last three years we've had it. And, yeah, it's getting bigger and better each year. And we're getting more... International bands, yep. oh, sorry, interstate bands, yep. um, including you guys. So it's loving it. It's awesome, you know, stepping up that each time. So see what happens in the future. We've definitely put a lot of work into it. That's yep. for sure. Like I, I, but you've been to a lot of festivals. I've been to a lot of festivals. You know, you've got props. Yeah. You, it's not just the bands. There's a whole atmosphere. You yep. put a lot of effort behind the scenes. How long does it sort of take? You know, to to prep all that. Yeah, so yeah, well that's basically what we really intended on doing is just, you know, not just making just this standard gig. We want to have that, you know, festival kind of experience. And uh, so yeah, there's, there's three of us, me, Luke and Dan. So we basically have our own things that we do. So I'm basically the band guy. Dan takes care of all graphics and social media. And then there's Luke who does all the uh, decorations. Mm. So he... Over the whole year, he's basically just been buying and storing shit. Um, and yeah, he's been here since like seven this morning, just setting up. And um, yeah, so basically, once again, just bigger and better each year. And yeah, just trying to make stuff a little bit different. Who came up with the idea? Uh, yeah, it was originally just me and Luke. Yeah. Um, wanted to, you know, a lot of. Uh, Concerts have happening, you know, summer and stuff like that. We want to do more of a mm. winter one. Um, plus, where the location where we are, like, which is right on the Barwon River in Geelong. Um, so, there was a year that everything completely flooded and the Barwon Club completely flooded. So, we kind of wanted to work on that, you know, the, the water feel. Mm. So, then, yeah, basically started with Drencher and now, well, now there's everything. We can do everything. So, is that these ideas for each year, like, you know, what do we want to do? Like, do you want to make it like a toxic water thing? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then like, Dan's had an idea of doing water, but in space. I don't know how That's, that works. Well, like, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, gravity, I like that. You, there's a lot you can do with that. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. You know, if, um, yeah, kind of sci-fi kind of stuff and yeah, just nuts a little, yeah. I love it. Just something different. Yeah. And the lineup is amazing. Like, it's a really kick-ass lineup today. It is, yeah, yeah. So we basically we want to do all di yeah, diverse kind of, you know, cross all, always aim for something heavy. We really want that heavy, well, I do, that's, I fight for that. Um, basically, yeah, the more everything on the metal side and then just try it. We always try to have like a party metal band. And, yep. Yeah, we want death metal. Trying to get more of a black metal side as well, even yeah, thrash metal, everything. Just love it. Just you know, I like going to those gigs that are all multi genre. Yes, yes. It's just not just this one same thing over and over and over again. It's the same as how we set up the bands each year. Like we didn't want you know like you guys and us like munitions yeah. close together because it's you know more of the death metal kind of stuff. So we kind of want to split it up. It's very yeah, it's diverse within the heavy genres, and I like it. It's, mm. It all complements each other. Yeah, it's a really great. Uh, is that still going? Yeah, it's still going. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's all right. Editing is fun. Uh, of course, who would who would be your dream band to have on the festival if you could do it and you could get any band in the world? In, in the world. In the world. Okay. Well, that's okay. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Okay, well, international, we really want to kind of try and aim for an international band next year, but, you know, you've got to try and mm. work it with who is getting to it, but my dream, fucking hell. Well, at the moment, I'm really into more of the black metal-y kind mm. of stuff, so, I don't know. 
Holy fuck. I'll put you on the spot. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm going to say, uh, I death metal, I'm going to go with Monstrosity because they're yeah. from my favourite death metal bands. Um, but, like, seriously, I'd be happy with fucking anyone. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> um, but Australia wise, I would love Astral to play. Ooh. They're one of my favourite Australian bands. Infernal Method, if they come back. But Astral, fucking love them. Putting it out there. Come on, Queen. Put it out there. I know. Oh, I know, see? Love them. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if they're doing anything anymore. Yeah, I think it's been a while. The, the fucking the Necrosonic dudes, hopefully they can push them in the right direction and then we can feed off it. What's it? It's, it's, it's a reset? Hey, never yeah. know. Never know. Mm-hmm. You know, that'd be kind of <laughs> cool. I don't know what they're doing. Look, I'm just speculating. I just, yeah. anything is possible. Uh, especially put it out there. But uh, uh, what's uh, what's the future look like for the festival? Yeah. What do you um, want to do with it in the next step? Yeah. So yeah, I'd love to keep doing it at the Barn Club. There is another area we can do it outside as well. Yeah. So maybe if we do end up doing it, expanding, having more bands, and then you know stage play, stage play, stage play, which would be could be cool. Don't know. It is pretty tiring by the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know it's like. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I think, yeah, next kind of want to push for an international band to bring that huge pull mm. to it. Yeah, I don't know, we'll, we'll just wait and see. But at, at the moment, I still love it, like, because the other two guys are like one of my closest friends. So it's, it's even cool just doing that. Yeah. You know, every day talking and stuff like that. It's just hanging out. Whatever. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's awesome. And, and what about you, uh, music wise? What's your own plans? Because you, you do a lot of things. Yeah. You're in a, you're <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, Munitions, which mm. where we're playing tonight. Um, we're writing for our next album, so that'd be cool to record next year. Um, and we'll be touring Australia wide, hopefully, next year. And then, uh, I mean, another band that's basically just started called Fimble Winter, which is three MX, X and one of my afters. So I'm actually, I fly out in a week. To yeah, you go to Sweden and we play yeah, Sweden to Estonia, which is kind of cool with a lot of fucking really good bands. Um, yeah, all international bands, which is really cool. So yeah, and then I think we're gonna record an EP. Yeah, next year we have five songs written. So how did that come about? Did you know those guys? Yeah, so I've known I've known I've known all the one of my guys for like twenty over twenty years now. Yeah. Um, and. Last year, it was the original drummer's 50th. So then he's like, oh, you know, it'd be cool for my 50th birthday to play the original demo that he drummed on. And then uh, Frederick Anderson, who was the drummer for one month for like 17 years, he's one of the close friends as well. He's like, yeah, I'll do it, but I'll play guitars because he also plays guitars. So then they created a band and then they're like, well, Clint, he wants to, you know, he's mates with us as well. He's a singer. He's a huge old school Monomar fan. Let's ask him to play. And then, so we played two shows last year in September. And then we played the shows and then just instantly all of us are just like, this is really cool. We basically, you know, he got offered a fucking record label straight away, even though we'd done nothing. Um, and then, yeah, we got asked to play a close-up uh, cruise and then... Yeah, let's sh- see where shit goes from there. It's kind of cool yeah. because it's it's literally a dream for me. It's a band that I grew up with a long time ago yeah. and massive fans of these people and now they're my close friends. I'm in a band with them, yeah. Anything is possible, yeah, kids. 100%. Anything is possible, kids. <laughs> Fucking you can dream it, do it. Just, you know, chat to them on MSM and ICQ. That's all, that's all you have to do. <laughs> Man, that's wild. But yeah, it's cool. That's awesome. Hey man, thanks for hanging out. No, all good. Uh, brother, can't wait to see you set. And thank you for having us down here. Of course. Uh, keep an eye on all the uh, Drencher Fest uh, socials. We'll have all the links down here. Uh, and next year is going to be bigger. So just keep keep an eye on it. We'll see you soon.